Welcome to day four. Today we're going to kind of get into the three vital behaviors, one of my favorites, which is personal development. So personal development can kind of be intimidating when you start as a new coach. You're not really sure what to do with it. You may not think you have time for it. Um, you hate reading. This was totally me in the beginning. I was a huge big skeptic of how PD could really affect my coaching journey. And I will say it's the biggest thing that has helped me stay consistent and motivated for over a year now coaching. Um, it's something I didn't take seriously. Like I didn't think I needed to work on myself. You know, I had lost some weight in a challenge group and I thought that that was just great and dandy. Why did I need to read a few pages in a book? But the biggest thing for me is that my mindset had been so negative over time through different personal relationships and experiences that I really had to rebuild my mindset without kind of knowing how to do that. And building the belief in this business takes that personal development and that work on yourself in order to be a coach and a leader and eventually grow and build your team because that's what we all want to do, right? Um, so first and foremost, let's talk about belief. You need to build the belief in the products, in the business, in you being a leader, and most importantly, yourself. So the biggest thing I have to say is you need to pick a personal development book or podcast that speaks to you every single day. So that might change for you. One day you are a badass might be great, but another day you might need something softer and, um, or more business related from Beachbody or Shalene Johnson or something that kind of speaks to you that day and what you're struggling with. So don't be afraid to read a few pages and change it up if it's not speaking to you. Um, you know, you, it's building that positive mindset. Our world is so negative that we are, th our thoughts are so negative and you don't even really realize it until you start working on yourself and you realize maybe the circle of friends you have is not the best or the people you surround yourself is not the best and that's okay it's part of the journey and learning what's going to work in your life from here on out and the best thing is you control that and you put emphasis on what needs to be worked on and that's why our personal development really comes in so shifting those thoughts and building that belief is going to be key because this journey is going to be full of ups and downs, and personal development is going to be the one thing to keep you clear and consistent and moving forward no matter what obstacle comes your way. So take it seriously. You also need this belief to become a leader and, and be ready to lead a team of other people who are going to have these same doubts and fears but also have these huge goals and dreams. And you need to be able to lead them with your heart and with a clear conscious and a clear head in knowing exactly where you're going. And personal development kind of gives you the tools and resources for your mindset to stay positive and always supportive of your team. And really believing in abundance and, and that this opportunity is endless if you let it be. And for me, honestly, personal development has been the difference in me hitting my goals in the final hour of a month and giving up. Like, if I were not doing a consistent, even if it's five to ten minutes a day of working on myself, I would not be sitting at my computer. It, I can think of at least two months that I did this. The final day, the last couple hours of the day, and I pushed hard. I worked my butt off and messaged anyone and everyone I could talk to. And I, I hit those goals because I believed in my head that I would. But you have to take those daily actions to really work on that mindset and change the negative thoughts to something that's going to grow and build into this beautiful person. And as we all know, small, consistent daily behaviors, the same thing you do in a challenge group applies to the same thing you're going to do in personal development. So don't take it lightly and don't think that it's the one thing you can skip when you have a busy day. I honestly like to tell my coaches to start their day with personal development. When you first get up, read 10 minutes or 10 pages so that you always start your day on the right um, foot. 
The other thing is if you're working full time, fit it into the times where you're doing mundane activities. So folding laundry, um, driving to work in the car or on your lunch break, fit it into those times where you're doing nothing anyways. You might as well fill your thoughts um, with awesome, awesome resources and new ideas and creativity and you name it, whatever you need. So I hope that's helpful and um, we're looking forward to building on this personal development in the next couple days.